Why did you decide to write about a time so long ago? That's one of the questions that I'm always asked. And I really can't answer. But I began with an idea, a story about a girl or a young woman who was living with people who were different. Not just superficially, not different color eyes or hair or skin, but significantly different. Of course, they thought she was different, and they were viewing her with some suspicion. But they allowed her to stay because she was taking care of an old man with a crippled arm. That was the idea. It was going through my head all that day. That evening, about the time my husband was going to bed, and he was saying, come to bed. And I said, wait a minute. I've got this idea. I want to see if I can write it. And I don't have any idea where that idea came from. I just said idea three times. <laughs> or why I thought of it. I really can't tell you any more than any other writer can where they come from, ideas that is. I was kind of thinking prehistory, and I may have read something at some point in time about Neanderthals and Cro-Magnons, but not then. But I began to wonder if I could write a short story like that. That's how it began, with the thought, I wonder if I could write a short story. <laughs> 